Oh, oh, Coco, Coco. What do I see here? in the wild uh, spotted in target uh, hey don't let her don't don't let her brainwash you banks we we have bins of christmas stuff we're just over the christmas stuff we have. we're at cruise preschool's uh fall activity look at this petting zoo And we got some llamas. Oh, oh, oh. Who did you say? Oh, that one's coming for you. Britt is always on top of me doing projects. I don't know. Like, I never nag her about her work, but man, she's always on me for the projects. So here I am, ripping out a deck, Saturday morning, here we go. We've got some tetanus that's just waiting to get you. All those screws nice and broken, but we're making progress. There's our boards that are out. This whole thing needs to be done. Digging out these bad boys who are concreted deep into the to the earth. So all my sand castles and digging is coming into use as I dig out these. Um, but yes, progress has been made. Kind of stoked about how it's going. This is all the wood that I had on the deck that's still in good condition. So I'm excited to use that and keep going on the project. Cheers to beets, guys. Guys, I was told that I need to eat more crimson stuff to help my asthma. So what's crimson colored? What is this angle, Coco? Crimson. What are crimson are colored like foods? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Beets. Beets. Raspberries. Raspberries. Strawberries. I love it. Okay. Um, those are the ones that we know that exist. Anyways. Connor made this smoothie. It a chocolate you think it'd be beet gross, smoothie. But it actually it has good. a hint of beet, which is a little earthy for those of you who don't really eat beets. It's actually Anyways. really good. It's chocolate, peanut butter, spinach, beets, ice, Bananas, banana, dates. I just have to show you that I got a few more Christmas decorations. Oh They're not anything crazy, but let's just give you an update. I had a tragic story happen. I hung up this garland. And it was working perfect, everything, got it all like situated, got the hooks for it. And then, all of a sudden, it stopped working. And I was looking it up and I have to get like a fuse to replace it. So I like went to our local hardware store here. Of course they don't have it. To go an hour away to find a fuse. Oh, yeah. At this point I'm like, is it even worth it? Should I just get a new garland? So tragic Christmas decorating story that I know is so, so important next. to everyone else. Come follow me, everybody. Okay, show them this, show them this, show them this. No, we already tree. showed them the tree. Oh, we got, got a tree collar. Tree collar, you know, it's a shop collar just in case our tree starts moving or someone tries to take it. Um, I just wanted to update you that there's only 46 days till Christmas, so you guys better Super get on your decorating. Call. Welcome to my crib. Okay, so next, did you already show them the kid's tree? We've Wait, already showed them this. We showed them our picture. I just have to show you a few more things. Cute. Cute, cute. Hung up these lights. Let's turn it on. Turn them on, people. Turn them on. Oh my goodness, it feels like the holidays. So cute. Disregard our light fixtures. Oh, oh, Coco, Coco. What do I see here?
We also cut put cute fluffy balls on our bed. Don't talk about fluffy balls. <laughs> and we got Turn the lights out. This. Set the set the tone. <gasps> and it was like All right. Be careful that you don't just for show and tell. <laughs> fall out. Ripped Connor out ripped that out deck. our deck, and I've never been more proud of him. Those concrete things. Weigh like 200 pounds. Without, Wait, what happened? I thought you were gonna do that. Yesterday. I know that was on the list. But We've decided that. I'm the taskmaster, so I just keep Connor on task. Introducing project manager Britt. I am really good at my job, actually. Chicken I don't actually 17. lift anything, but I do keep him on task, and I am really good at the dump runs. So. So I showed you my list of all the things that I had to get for the deck, my friend. That's been so helpful. Hunter Hancock, Hon Hancock Halle, Paul A, if you see them on Instagram or YouTube. He knows how to use every tool in the book. He knows how to fix everything he's in the book. A when he's, it comes to the he's a wizard. He came over yesterday, slowly convinced me to finish my whole deck before January 6th. So now I've got a crunch line. I will not be surfing anymore. I will not be doing a lot of fun things because what? labor. It just all has to happen before January 6th. That's the deadline. I don't know if you've seen those videos of where you have just enough money for the down payment and nothing else to furnish your house. I so, he, oh, can't. no. So here we are with our. Let me tell you, these things. Help! These are going to be the death of me. How beautiful is that one? So stay tuned for more videos on DIY projects, measure three times, measure once, cut three times. That's my specialty. Lastly, Britt created, did you show them the thankful tree? No. So Britt created this because obviously it seems like we've, obviously it seems like we've skipped Thanksgiving. Guys, there's just not that many cute Thanksgiving decorations, okay? Christmas is oh, way more fun. Oh. This is our thankful tree. This is from, this is, idea is from Celeste Clark. I feel like I'm presenting for school. So you start with packing tape, packing, packaging paper, and you just like literally make it into a tree, glue it on, or tape it on. And then she has like these principles on her website. They're so cute. They were literally $5 for the whole, the whole pile of this too. And you just print a bunch of them, one for every day. And then we write on it every day what all of us are grateful for. It's been really fun, especially to get like your kids involved, like to get crew involved in Thanksgiving and help them understand. What, what he's thankful for, yeah. And as a side note, Crew woke up one morning and said, Dad, what are you thankful for? I was like, huh, I don't know, let me think about it. He's like, are you thankful for your kids? <laughs> Just like 6.30 a.m., like, are you not thankful for me? Anyways, so the reason why I wasn't wanting to do the full deck before January 6th was because we're going to be having special visitors and guests with us. And our friends are gonna be in town for like four weeks and we wanted to play. Like it's like a family reunion almost. So we were hoping, me, I was hoping to selfishly hang out and play, but now I might have to ask them to help do the project with me. Um, anyways, so stay tuned for our videos that are coming up. They're going to be super exciting, super fun and lots of DIY, and then you'll see a lot of fresh new faces and old faces too. If there's anything specific you guys wanna see, like recipes, I was also thinking of making a video about how I make my sourdough, cause lots of you guys have asked. So I might either do TikTok or YouTube, but stay tuned for that. If there's anything else you guys wanna see, let us know, and we'd love to do it for you. Love you guys. See you.